My name is Wes Gore, and I am a senior bioinformatics scientist in Alex Wagner's lab at Nationwide Children's Hospital. Today, I am going to present my work on annotating VCFs using the GA4GH Variation Representation Specification, or VERSE for short. First, what is VERSE and why should you care about it? VERSE is an extensible framework for the computable representation of variation. VERSE provides semantically precise representation of variation. VERSE is important because it enables the federated identification of biomolecular variation with globally consistent and unique computed identifiers. Simply put, by applying VERSE to sequencing annotation, genomic knowledge bases, and electronic health records, we ensure the precise and reliable exchange of information regarding variation. VERSE is an open source package and is freely available for community use. Please see the VERSE paper if you would like to learn more or follow us on our GitHub. Let's briefly talk about the overall architect architecture that is required to use our VERSE verse annotation script. Seek repo and the Universal Transcript Archive, or UTA, are both databases found within the BioCommons package on GitHub. Seek repo provides access to sequence data, while UTA provides us access to alignment data. These two resources are crucial for the normalization and translation of variants into their verse representations through the verse Python package. The VCF annotation script works by following this simple flowchart. First, we read in and parse the VCF by leveraging the PySAM package. Then, we convert each VCF record into a nomad style format to allow for the normalization and translation of both the reference and alternate alleles into their verse representations through verse Python. Once the verse representation has been created, we add the verse allele IDs to the info field of the VCF. Finally, we output a new VCF that has been annotated with the verse allele IDs and the user can also choose to output a pickle file with a full verse object for each VCF record. To benchmark the overall speed of the VCF annotation script, we annotated the GRCH38 genome in a bottle VCF. This VCF contains over 7.8 million alleles, which were annotated in a little over 98 minutes, averaging thir approximately 1,300 alleles per second. While this is a good first pass, in the future we hope to increase the speed and efficiency of the VCF annotation script. So let's now return back to the question of why this is useful. Once you have annotated your VCF with the verse allele IDs, you are able to use those as precise and simplified lookup values for federated data from knowledge bases such as ClinVar and Civic who are experimenting with adopting verse. You can also perform your own verse annotation of any locally stored databases to greatly simplify the knowledge base searches and their required translation for proper annotation within your own pipeline. The goal of VERSE is to facilitate reliable exchange of genetic variation data to maximize the personal, public, research, and clinical value of genomic information. We hope that the adoption of VERSE at large will allow for more robust annotation of knowledge surrounding genetic variation, thus improving both research efforts and clinical care of patients. If you would like to find out more about Verse or Verse Python, or even get involved and contribute, please scan the QR code on the slide and check out our links. This work wouldn't be possible without all of my wonderful lab mates and collaborators. I would also like to thank all of the involved organizations and my funding sources. Thank you. Have a great day.